section of the course we'll be covering the magnet tool. We'll go ahead and show you on a two and a half inch laptop drive how to remove the magnet using this tool. The first thing that we need to do is to remove all the screws. Uh, normally there are six on the, down the sides of the upper case of the lid and quite often on the laptop hard drives there is an additional screw under the label. In a moment we will show you how to access this and remove it carefully. To remove the label you will need a razor blade. Gently try to peel under the edges and lift the label off in one piece. You can then remove the screw. Place the razor blade safely out of your way and move the screws free from the work surface. Next, you will need some short, sort of flat bladed instrument to prise open the corner of the case. Remove the lid and place it to one side. Now we can see inside the hard drive. There are two physical screws holding the magnet down. First of all, we need to remove these screws. As there are many different size screws, you will need a large range of torque bits and screwdriver bits. Once you've undone the two screws, you can remove them gently with a pair of tweezers and place them to one side. We recommend that you use tweezers so that you do not risk damaging the platters by dropping the screws. Next we are ready to use the platter, the magnet exchange tool. Place the magnet exchange tool on top of the magnet. You can see, you just use your thumb to press the button down and lock it into place and lift the magnet away at a 90 degree angle. Release the button and place the magnet safely away. This magnet is a two-piece magnet, this is why you will need the tool. You can see how easy it is to, to remove the magnet. Now we'll show you how to replace the magnet. Press the button down and make sure the magnet is firmly secured to the magnet extraction tool. Next you need to align the pins and any screw holes with the magnet. Gently lower the magnet into place and at a slight angle move the magnet extractor away from the magnet. You can see the magnet was left intact in one piece, it was aligned perfectly. If the magnet exchanger had not been used correctly the magnet would have snapped into place this would have caused physical damage to the heads. You consider it the equivalent of an earthquake. Now we can go ahead and replace the screws. Using the tweezers and then secure them back into place. You will need to practice this exercise several times until you are comfortable with using the magnet exchanger tool. If the magnet is, is snapping into place, try again. Keep trying until you are absolutely comfortable with this tool. Then you can go ahead and replace the lid and replace all the screws. In this particular model there are seven, seven screws to re replace. Make sure you insert the screw under the label and secure the label down. This will help your client when they come to claim under the warranty if that's what they're required to do.
this particular demo is just to show you how to use the magnet extraction tool. In this scenario, there is no data to recover. We do not need to return the drive to the client. However, you must take care to ensure that all screws are replaced. If you are working on a client drive and you return the drive without a missing screw, the client may not be able to claim under warranty. drive back in one piece and looks as good as new.